the general term of an arithmetic progression. You will find this on page 211 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. The general term of an arithmetic progression. If general, we can write an arithmetic sequence like this. A, A plus D, A plus 3D, where A is the first term, D is the difference between the terms called the common difference. The formula to find the general term of an arithmetic progression is Tn equals A plus D in minus 1. Why? Because the first term is just having an A if you were looking at the previous page. So if you say 1 minus 1, then that D will be disappear in the first term. So from the second term, then you will find the D and so on. Okay, let's look at an example. Determine the tenth term of the sequence, 3, 7, 11. So what is the value of A, 3? What is the value of D, 4? What is N? N is going to be 10 because I want to find the D. Tenth term. How do I find D? I take a term and I subtract the previous. Take a term, subtract the previous, and that's how I find the four. And how will I find T in? Or T in this case, it will be T ten. This is what I want to find. But I find to find the nth term. So T ten, I just substitute A, I substitute D, I substitute and I work it out and I get thirty nine. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. So let's first write it down. It's 2, 8, 14, 20 and I move on. Now remember this is the first term, this is the second term, this is the third term this is the fourth term. Okay, so what is the value of A? The value of A is 2. How do I find the value of T? I can say T3 minus T1 and let T2 uh, must be equal to T2 minus T1. So I'm going to say 14 minus 8 must be equal to 8 minus 2 and that's correct because that will give me 6. Okay, uh, and then I must find the what term, the 12 term, so what will n be? 12. So first start with the formula. Say Tn equals A plus D n minus 1. So in the case of A, it's 2 plus 6 n minus 1. And in this case, n is going to be, so say t12, then this will be 12 minus 1, and that will be 2 plus 6, 11, and that will be 2 plus 66, and that will be 68, and that will be your final answer. Okay, let's look at another example. Determine which term in the sequence 14 this is equal to negative 28. Okay, so again, write down the formula. Find A is 14. What is D? I subtract, and that's negative 6. What will be, uh, this is Tn, so that is negative 28, and I want to find that value in. So write down the formula, and I'll just substitute. Substitute, 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 and I'm looking for that in. Now it's almost like solving a linear equation. I just simplify, take the n over, take the rest over, divide, and I get the n is 8, so the 8th term will be equal to negative 28. Okay, again I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do try now 41. You can just do number one. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number one. So it's 53, 49, 45, 
and 9. So if I start, okay, let's just say this is term 1, this is term 2, this is term 3, and this is Tn, and I'm looking for that N. So if I, I'm writing it down, I will say the value of A is 53. The value of T, that must be T3 minus T2, which is equal to T2 minus T1. So that's going to be 49 minus 53 must be equal to 49 minus 53. So that will give me negative 4. Then I know that Tn, that N, will be that 9. And I'm actually looking, I'm looking for N. Okay, so if I start with the formula Tn equals A plus bracket N minus 1D. So Tn will be 9 equals A 53 plus N minus 1D, negative 4. I can put it at the back or in front. So then it's 9 equals 53 minus 4N, it's better if it's in front, plus 4. Take the 4N over, then it becomes positive. Oh, that's too many equal signs. And that will be then the 53 plus 4 minus 9. And that will give me 4N will be equal to 48. Then I divide 4 and I divide 4. So therefore, the value of N will be 12. So I'm going to end by saying... Therefore, the 12th term is equal to 9. Okay, let's move on. Find A and D in an arithmetic progression. The fifth term of an arithmetic progression is 8 and the twelfth term is 50. Find A and D and determine the sequence. So in this case, form two equations with two unknowns and solve them then simultaneously. So T5 will be 8 and T12 will be 50. Write down the formula and now substitute. That is 8. I don't know A, I don't know D, but I know it's the fifth term, so it's 5 minus 1. Simplify to this. The same here. That is 50. A, D, 12, and it's 11. And then solve it simultaneously. So I divide, divide, and the value of D is 6. And now I can substitute it there to find the value of A. And now, if I read the question, Find A and D and determine the sequence. So this A, this A, this D, and the sequence will be that I add 6 every time. So that will be the sequence. So always make sure that you answered the question part. Again, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number 1. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. The fourth term of an arithmetic progression is 14. The fourth term is 14. And the sixteenth term is 50. Find A and D and determine the sequence. So first write down your formula. So it's Tn equals A plus D N minus 1. T N equals A plus D N minus 1. So T N will be 14, okay, sorry, equals A plus D, and it's going to be that 4, so it's 4 minus 1. And this will be 50 equals A plus D, and it will be 16 minus 1. So this will be 14 equals A plus 3D, and that's 50 equals A plus 15D. Okay, so this is my equation 1, 
This is my equation 2. And now I'm going to solve it. Now, if I'm writing this one underneath this one, um, let's just say 14 equals a plus 3d. Don't forget that this is 1. And now I can even draw a line. Okay, so, so this is negative, negative, negative. So I'm, I'm going to cancel out. So then I'm going to just quickly do that. 150 minus 14 will give me 36. That will cancel out. And then that one will give me 12D. Then I divide 12. I divide 12. And the value of D will be equal to 3. Okay. And now I'm just substitute it in any one, doesn't matter. I can do it in this one. So 14 equals a plus 9. So 14 minus 9 is equal to a. So the value of a will be equal to 5. So um, Find A and D and determine the sequence. So, in this case, the sequence will be 5, and then I add, so it's 8, and then I add again 3, and then it's 11, and I add 3, and it's 14. Okay? It's just, that's not nice. Okay, you can only do 3. And then you can do your three dots. So uh, the, therefore, you can say therefore, A is 5. Okay, you can even say it. So um, I can say A is 5 and D is 3. And then end up with the sequence. Okay, and that's how you do it.